I'm Steve Garrett. I'm the founder of Feminism, and uh, I am passionate about equality. Equality between all people, but especially right now, equality between men and women. This is not the same as sameness, uh, vive la différence, very much so, as far as I'm concerned. But it's about equal rights for respect and for our freedom to be our true selves. Because I believe that in a world of equality, not only will women be happier, but we men will be much happier too. There's a lot said about uh, male violence, and let's face it, testosterone seems to exist for one main purpose, which is to enable us men to be aggressive when we need to be. I do think that aggression, uh, and male aggression, um, to some extent gets a very bad press, as if it's something that we should be ashamed of, something that um, is only ever bad. Uh, but the way I look at it is like this. Um, the innate aggression that they're there, testosterone fueled, uh, which happily these days doesn't express itself so often in war, although far too often, more likely on the sports field. Um, but that innate aggression, not only is it not evil and bad, in fact, you know, at an early part of our uh, evolution, uh, it seems quite clear to me that this was what actually enabled us to survive. You know, if there hadn't have been male aggression, uh, the little hairless, helpless little animals that we were when we uh, first started walking on two legs would not have lasted five minutes. I mean, there were so many other bigger, stronger animals that wanted to eat us. It seems to me that that uh, quality of the capacity for thinking, but also the capacity for aggression, is part of what enabled us to survive. Um, I don't know enough to know this. I hope that that aggression didn't extend to uh, aggression towards our fellow men and even more importantly our fellow women and children. I'm going to be optimistic and say that it didn't, but that that aggression was primarily focused on survival. That also there's a type of aggression, I suppose, that's led us to um, controlling the environment, uh, being able to grow crops, being able to uh, manage our um, supplies of food in an effective way. It's led to technology. It's a way of thinking about the world which is innately controlling. And again, this word controlling has had nothing but a bad press. To bring us up to the present day, what I feel is happening right now is that we now have more than enough control. You know, we've got the environment, not only is it controlled, but it's under our thumb to the point where we're damaging the one thing that supports us. In terms of many areas of uh, our lives, you know, we have enough technology, we have enough um, control over, uh, we're safe. You know, the world is no longer a dangerous place for us, other than mainly from other human beings. And why is that? It's because I think that we've not been able to let go of that habit of aggression. It's almost like a collective gender memory that we can't seem to forget. And that right now, with the environment at the point of collapse, with wars going on, with aggression towards women still being um, far too high, for example, 20,000 cases of domestic violence in Wales alone last year, I mean, to me, that is unbelievably shocking. For me, 20,000 cases of domestic uh, violence uh, of men against women in Wales last year, it's like a kind of hidden shame, you know, that I think is really... Um, bringing us down collectively uh, as men and women. Um, I believe that now we must and can actually evolve away from that to including in our natures a sort of deeper understanding, a better relationship with nature, better relationship with each other, better relationship with women. It doesn't mean we have to become less male. It doesn't mean we have to become feminine. It just means that we understand that we need to manage and control our aggression in a way that will make the world happier and safer for women, for children and for all of us men.